Good day, everyone. We're here at the Fort Pilar Shrine alongside with the National Museum of Fort Pilar, Sambuanga City. We are here to promote and to tell you how to preserve one of the cultural heritage of Zumbuanga City, which is the Fort Pilar Shrine. Come and join us! The Fort the embattled Spaniards built the fort in 1635 as a secure bastion against the constant threats of fierce marauding warriors who were driven by a deep-seated hatred for the white invaders and colonizers, and to stop the Moros from constantly raiding the Christian coastal towns of Zamboanga and to protect the Jesuit missions. The construction was directed by the Jesuit father Melchor de Vera. The fort was known as the Fort of St. Joseph and served the double purpose of a fortress and a penitentiary. In 1662, the fort were abandoned by the Spanish garrisons, which sailed for Manila to help defend that city from the threat of the powerful Chinese pirate cruising. The forts were totally destroyed in 1663 to prevent it from falling into the hands of the Moros. The removal of the garrisons and the destruction of the forts led to the increase in Moro raids in Christian towns, which resulted in loss of shipping, the death and capture of thousands, the destruction of properties, and the slowdown of farming industry. The Marian image honored in the fort is a small replica of Our Lady copied from the original Nuestra Señora del Pilar in Saragossa, Spain. The Blessed Virgin is shown standing in a pillar carrying the child Jesus on her left arm, while she holds her cape around her with her right hand. She wears an imperial crown upon her head. According to tradition, Nuestra Señora had also on several occasions appeared before the Moros to repel their attack and dissuade them from taking over the fort. In 1719, Nuestra Señora was reported to have appeared to a sentinel stationed in the fort. The quick suppression of the epidemics on 1897 was attributed to the intercession of the Blessed Virgin of Pilar. Likewise, in this same year, on September 21st, there was a series, series of earthquakes of increasing violence which however failed to cause much damage to lives and properties due to the same supernatural intercession. Again, the legend goes, she appeared at midnight on August 16, 1976, when a killer quake and tsunamis threatened the city. Today, Fort Pilar is no longer a military outpost. It has become one of the principal Marian shrines in Mindanao. It is also a center of religious pilgrimages. Immediately after the liberations, when there was already a certain degree of order, in security Zamboanga has tensed to the Fort Pilar on Saturday, April 28, 1645, to offer a mass of thanksgiving and to sing the triumphant hymn of the Dium. The joyful celebrations on October 12, 1960, when the image of Nuestra Señora La Virgen del Pilar de Zamboanga was canonically crowned. The shrine of Nuestra Señora La Virgen del Pilar is a unique in any aspect. To start with, it is an open-air shrine without doors, right in the middle of the city. It is like a permanent invitation for all the Sambonginos to come at any time of the day or night. At, at sunset, when all the church and chapels of the city are closed, many Sambonginos from all work of life are always seen at the Fort Pillar pay a short visit to Our Lady to pray, to light a candle, to pour out to pour out to the daily joys, joys and pains of their lives. 
there is probably not a single day or night of the year when the port pillar is found deserted and this will continue while there is some bongenio, artus, division, and love for Nostra Senora lover Jen del Pilar like into the firmness of the historical fortress that began her name and hold her scared image. Preserving cultural heritage involves various methods such as documentations, restorations, conservation, education, and community involvement. Documenting artifacts, traditions, and practices helps record them for future generations. Restorations and conservations ensures physical items or cultural sites are maintained. Education spread awareness and appreciation of cultural heritage involving communities fosters a sense of ownership and responsibility. Additionally, implementing policies and regulations to protect cultural sites and artifacts is crucial.